basi wapendwa karibuni mara nyingine tena jioni ya leo ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya wakati mzuri ambayo Bwana ameufanya ili tuweze kufurahia asante kwa sababu ya kila mmoja wenu ambaye Mungu amempa nafasi na akampa kibali ili tuweze kuwa na wakati mzuri na tuweze kuendelea kujifunza neno la Mungu ambalo litatupa hekima alitatupa maarifa katika maisha yetu ya kiroho na waomba tuweze kuomba tuamini na tuombe baba wetu na Mungu wetu ishie juu mbinguni ninalitukuza jina lako ni kwa sababu hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe umetupa nafasi mara nyingine tena jioni ya leo ili kwamba tuendelee kujifunza neno lako ili kwamba tuweze kupata maarifa na tuweze kufaulu katika vita hivi vya kiroho ana neno lako linatuambia kwamba watu wako mfalme wa ajabu wanapotea wanaangaika ni kwa sababu wamekosa maarifa naamini bwana Mungu wetu ishie juu mbinguni maarifa tunayapata katika neno lako na ndio maana jioni ya leo Mungu tumejikabidhi mikononi mwako tusaidie tunapoenda kujifundisha neno lako kwa ajili ya neema uinuliwe na hata imidiwe mfalme maana kuna mwingine aliye kama wewe tazamaji wangu namkabidhi mikononi mwako nikiomba kwamba bwana umkumbuke umbariki umupe amani na umusaidie ili kwamba tunapojifunza neno lako jioni ya leo ili neno lipate kumusaidia ili neno liweze kuwa ni mzingi katika maisha yake ili kila siku baada ya wakati aweze kuendelea kufanya mambo yaliyo mema na mambo yaliyo na ushindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo nami bwana ninajiweka mikononi mwako nikiomba bwana unitumie kama chombo teule chako bwana ninapoenda kuongoza mafundisho haya nipate kuongoza watu wako mfalme katika njia ambayo inakubarika jina lako litukuzwe jina lako limediwe na katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba na nikishukuru sema amen so asante mpendwa mahali popote ulipo wale wanatazama katika jamu, uh, kutoka jamhuri yetu ya Kenya na kuna wale wanatazama katika uh, inji za ngambo kama vile kule Marekani maana kuna watu wengi kutoka kule Marekani wanafuatilia uh, mafundisho haya ambayo nayalete kila siku ya Aramisi kuanzia mwendo wa uh, saa tatu na nusu mpaka kule masaa ya saa na robo. Uh, naye wakaribisha nitu mchungaji Jeremiah Nyabende na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya uh, kukuweka hapo mali ulipo ili tuweze kuchifundisha neno la Mungu kuhusu neema. Uh, tunaendelea kutoka mahali tulipowachia wiki iliyopita kwa sababu tulichifunza uh, tulianza kujifundisha neno la Mungu kuhusu the grace of God na tukaona kwamba neno la Mungu linatufundisha mambo mengi kuanzia mahali tulipoanzia na mahali tulipofika na nataka tu ku kupitia uh, kiasi kidogo kwamba tuliweza kusoma neno la Mungu na tukaweza kujua uh, kujifunza kuhusu maana ya the meaning of the grace na tukajua kwamba Uh, the meaning of the grace tuliona kwamba it is an merited favor ni ile favor uh, 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 ambayo mimi na wewe wakati mwingine atu 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 uh, atufai kuipata lakini Mungu anatupea we get an merited favor tukaona kwamba ni zawadi ni zawadi ambayo tunapewa na jambo lingine tuliweza kuangalia katika wiki iliyopita ni kwamba Uh, kando na kwamba it is an merited favor it is also enabling power inatusaidia ni nguvu nyingine ambayo tunapewa inatusaidia kufanya mambo ambayo si ya kawaida sio mambo ambayo mwanadamu wa kawaida anaweza kuyafanya na tuliweza kuona mambo mengi na tunaona kwamba kuna mambo mengine tuliyaona kupitia kwa mafundisho na tukaona how the enabling power works uh, to uh, a christian a uh, 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 believer na tukaona kwamba kuna njia nyingi we get an merited favor and the enabling power tuliona hata uh, uh, tuliweza kujifunza kuhusu uh, 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 dada Esther pamoja na ndugu Mordecai na tukaona vile walipata favor ya Mungu kubwa na enabling power ambayo ilimsaidia hata Esther kuweza kumuona yule mfalme kinyume na ile mipangilio ambayo iliweza kuwa na tuliona 
uh, uh, katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tuliona uh, mambo mengi. Na nataka kusema kwamba uh, tuliangalia mambo mengine kwamba au uh, the unmerited favor inapofanya kazi, the enabling power vile inapofanya kazi na tukaweza kuendelea. Na siku ya leo tunataka kuangalia uh, kuanzia uh, the uh, the grace given uh, to the uh, to the heroes of faith. Uh, this operating force of the grace is revealed in the lives of men and women throughout the whole Bible. Every hero of faith began his walk with God aware of his own wickedness and inability. It was only uh, through him allowing God's grace, his enabling power to work in his life that he was able to become the kind of a person that God wanted him to be and fulfill the plan and purpose of God for his life. So, neno la mungu ni nataka kutuambia kwamba uh, uh, hawa tunaita heroes ambayo maandiko ya natuonyesha chinzi walipofanya. Neno la mungu ni nataka kutuonyesha kwamba hiyo uh, hawa wapendwa uh, uh, neema ya buwana iliweza kuwa juu ya maisha yao na wakaweza kufaulu mambo mengi kupitia kwa Nehema ya Bwana. Awangeweza kufaulu mambo mengi isinge kuwa ni nehema ya Bwana iliyokuwa juu ya maisha yao. Nehema ya Bwana iliyokuwa juu ya maisha yao iliwasaidia wakaweza kufanya mambo mengi ambayo sasa tunachifunia kuhusu this man uh, the great man of God ambayo wameweza kututangulia. Isinge kuwa ni nehema ya Bwana wapendwa mambo mengi ambayo tunachifunza kupitia Uh, kwa wapendwa ambao wameweza kutangulia atungeweza kufaulu. Kwa hivyo ndio maana nataka tuendelee kuangalia some of these heroes ambao waliweza kututangulia ambao wengine wao wanatusaidia. Mimi na wewe tukiwa wa Kristo tunaiga mfano wao kwa sababu kuna mambo waliweza kufaulu ambayo sisi sasa tunaweza uh, kujivunia. Uh, one of the heroes ambayo nataka tuangalie hao the grace of god worked in their lives ni mtu anaitwa moses the grace in the life of moses ah uh, ah uh, kusoma the whole ah uh, ah uh, lakini at your own time read exodus chapter number 3 a verse number 11 to 13 and you can also read uh, chapter number 4 verse number 1 to 13 it will give you the whole story of our brother uh, the hero ambaye tunamtambua anaitwa Moses now the, uh, the, the, the command uh, the command of the lord gave Moses was no small task egypt was the ruling empire of the law uh, of the day it was an evil nation and the pharaoh it is a satanic leader held authority that was claimed to be divine every nation in the known world lived in fear of Pharaoh. Wapendwa tunaangalia tunajua huyu uh, uh, mjamaa alikuwa anaitwa Pharaoh unapofuatilia katika historia eh uh, mwanzo tunaposoma kuhusu mambo ya uh, uh, Satan ambaye uh, alikuwa anaitwa Lucifer. Lucifer was one of, uh, uh, of the great angels of God ambaye aliasi. Na wakati alipoasi Uh, aliweza kufukuzwa kutoka kule mbinguni and, and, and some of the angels wale wali, waliweza kushirikiana pamoja naye walifukuzwa so unaposoma maandiko kuna maani maandiko yanatufundisha kwamba some of the fallen angels waliweza kutamani watoto wa wanadamu wasichana na wakaweza kuzaa pamoja na wao na unapofuatilia historia huyu uh, 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 farao is one uh, uh, person ambaye it is related with uh, uh, the, the, the foreign angels ni mtoto alitoka katika uzao wa wale uh, uh, wana wa mwanadamu walio olewa na the foreign angels na wakazana wao kwa sababu the way uh, the, 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 the word of god describes uh, farao na wale wana ambao walizaliwa na the foreign angels chinzi walipokuwa wanaonekana tunaona kwamba farao alikuwa anatoka katika ukoo wa ule uliozaliwa wana 
waliotoka katika the foreign angels now sasa huyu mtu ma, matendo yake kwa sababu alitoka katika ukoo wa watu ambao walikuwa wako na rana kwa sababu walizaliwa uh, the, the plan of god haikuwa haikuwa kwamba the foreign angels waweze kuzaa na, uh, na wanadamu lakini sasa tunaona kwamba wana uh, 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 wa wanadamu waliweza ku, ku, uh, kuweza kuzaa na the fallen angels na wakapata watoto majitu ambaye huyu farao alitoka katika ukoo huo na sasa neno la Mungu linaendelea kutufundisha uh, kwamba when god uh, told moses to go down to egypt and uh, and tell farao to let his 3 million people go free from slavery moses immediately responded out of his own wickedness and inability uh, as follows na unaposoma hilo andiko ukiangalia katika in the book of uh, uh, Exodus chapter number 3 and verse number 11 uh, Musa aliuliza who I am am I mimi ni nani jameni niende kuambia farao aweze kuwajiria imagine Mungu anamzungumzia na yeye anajaribu so nataka tuangalie these are some of the heroes kwamba isinge kuwa is the grace of God some of the things they did could aingewezekana kwa sababu angalia ni Mungu anamwambia and uh, God has the power to command you to do something na uweze kufaulu ah uh, wakati tulipokuwa tunajifundisha how you can succeed where others have not succeeded or where others have failed and we were looking about upon how Peter aliweza kufaulu kutembea juu ya maji na mahali wengine hawakuweza kutembea kwa sababu Yesu alimwambia ni mimi kuja tembea naye akaweza kufocus akafix macho yake kwa Yesu na akaanza kutembea juu ya maji so tunaona kwamba wakati Mungu amekusungumzia jambo Yesu alimwambia Peter kuja ni mimi tembea na Peter akaanza kutembea the same way when God spoke to Moses Moses could not have even questioned akisema katika uh, uh, in the book of Exodus 3 verse number 11 um i am angeweza kuuliza Mungu hivyo kwa sababu Musa alikuwa anazungumza na Mungu na alikuwa anajua uwezo wa Mungu lakini sasa angalia hapa anamuuliza sasa mimi ni nani and, and, and my brother and sister who is watching mara nyingi mimi na wewe na wengine ambao uh, uh, wanaishi katika ulimwengu kuna wakati mwingine unaweza kuwa umeuliza swali kama hilo na kama umeuliza swali kama hilo then Mungu anaweza kushangaa pamoja na wewe sana lakini he gives you the grace sasa wakati alimuuliza ukiangalia katika chapter number uh, uh, first number 13 akauliza who are you imagine na katika uh, 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 chapter number 4 and first number 1 Musa aliambia Mungu they won't believe me wakati Mungu amemueleza mimi ni fulani mimi ni huyu mimi nataka uende ufanye hivi na hivi na sasa in chapter number 4 and verse number 1 now Musa anaambia Mungu they won't believe me anamwambia hawawezi hawezi niamini imagine god is speaking to you tonight anakuambia fanya hivi enda kule Nairobi enda kule Nyeri enda kule Mombasa enda kule Marekani na ufanye hivi na hivi alafu na ni Mungu amekutuma unamuuliza unamwambia they can't believe me and in in, in chapter uh, in verse number 10 that is chapter number 4 in verse number 10 na neno la Mungu linasema i am not eloquent Musa anaambia Mungu mimi sijui kuzungumza vizuri. Imagine God is sending somebody and you are just saying I cannot. And, and that's why you need to understand that it is through the grace of God that Musa did what he did. Because unaona anauliza Mungu maswali. Even us brethren. How many times you as a brother, you as a sister in Christ How many times that you question God? Mungu anakuambia ukiwa na imani 
unaweza kuzungumzia milima iame kutoka mahali hapa na iende alafu unafika unauliza swali jamii lakini Mungu anakupa neema na tunaishi kwa sababu ya neema So brethren Musa aliuliza maswali ukiangalia katika chapter number 4 and verse number 13 The Lord sent Lord akasema Lord send someone else Anataka kukataa Anataka kusema hapana tafadhali tuma mtu mwingine How many times brethren tunatumwa Tunaambiwa jambo Let, let's go and one hata hata sasa hivi wapendwa hata hii magonjo unaona na mambo mengine there some people who have failed their work kuna watu wame wame wamelala kwa majukumu yao kwa sababu wakati dunia inapokuwa na shida watu wanataikana kukimbilia viongozi wa makanisa wanataikana kukimbilia wa Kristo kukimbilia watu wameokoka ili waweze kuwapa matumaini waweze kuwafundisha waweze kuwasaidia lakini sasa kama mimi na wewe ambaye tumeokoka tunamtambua Kristu akiwa mokozi katika maisha yetu alafu sasa tunafika tunauliza maswali basi unakuja kuona kwamba kuna mambo ambayo yanatendeka eh, ayaindi vizuri na japo kuwa tu neema the unmerited favor and the enabling power unakuja kuona hatuwezi kuwa tumefanya yale tumefanya hatuwezi kuwa tumefika mahali tumefika in fact if it was not by the grace of god hii maswali yote mnaona Musa anauliza hakuna kitu angekuwa amefanya hakuna unasikia anamuuliza umo i am ni, mimi ni nani imagine Mungu anamtoa anauliza yeye mimi ni nani Alafu anaenda akimuuliza wewe ni nani? Our ways they couldn't believe me. Somebody God is sending you alafu unasema hata nikienda wataniamini. Lakini unaona bado this person aliweza kusucceed because of the grace. God gave gave him the enabling power. Aliposema I'm not eloquent but god gave him the enabling power so that he can do what is required and melted the favor musa ha hakuwa natosha kwa sababu hata yeye mwenyewe aliamini hatoshi na hata anaambia mungu hawataniamini why yeye kwake alikuwa anaona mimi sitoshi he was saying i'm not eloquent so meaning yeye mwenyewe aliamini sitoshi Brethren, wakati mwingi watu hata wanakosa hata kujiamini what they are doing and if you don't believe yourself you can't do anything but because of the grace of God unakuja kuona you do something but with God's grace Moses did go down to do Egypt and with the signs and wonders brought the people of Israel out as god told him ichapo hakuona anatosha ichapo hakuwa eloquent ichapo hakuwa naamini kwamba wata wata hiyo watu watamwamini but because of the enabling power because of the unmerited favor of god ambaye yote hizo mbili tunaziweka katika the grace of god aliteremka and they could do what god wanted him to do even me and you brethren god releases his grace upon our lives and he causes us to do what he, he wants us to do na tunaweza kufaulu kwa sababu tu ya neema ah uh, having said that baada ya kuangalia uh, maisha ya Musa nataka tuangalie the grace in the life of Gideon and in the book of uh, judges tazoma katika in the book of judges chapter number 
from verse number 1 to 24. Uh, sita soma lakini ntafu, uh, ntafundisha mambo machachi hapo. But you will have time read the whole uh, chapter that is chapter number 6 and then you will get more insight of what we are learning. Now, the call of God came to Gideon to deliver his people from conquering armies of Midian. Israelites had known only, uh, known only David for many years. Gideon responds to God's word in verse number 13 reveals his initial and belief. He said this, But sir, Gideon replied, If the Lord is with us, why has all of this happened to us? Where are all of these wonders that our fathers told us about when they said, Did not, did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and put us into the hand of Midian. Even when the Lord encouraged him and promised to be with him, Gideon answered, How can I save Israel? I'm the smallest member of the smallest family in our tribe. Sikisa, yale yote, Gideon anasema. And this is present, this is how the Christian Believers some behave. Mungu ameona unatosha. Anakuambia wewe kwa sababu baba yako hako ameokoka, mama yako hako ameokoka, mandugu zako na madada sako walio tangulia hawako ameokoka. Some of your parents wengine walikuwa waganga, wengine walikuwa na mambo mengi, others probably walikuwa amefanya mambo mengine, hata we mwenyewe ukiangalia haiko katika mupangirio ya wokovu, and God is speaking to you. Anaona, it is you to save this family. Wewe ndiyo kijana ambayo umekubali wokovu. Wewe ndiyo musichana ambayo umekubali wokovu. God wants to use you to save your family. Na kizazi jenu, kisikue, kisikuja kuingia katika rana. You know, the Bible tells us, wakati rana inapokuja, inaenda mbaka inaesa kanyaka kisasi chaine. But God has seen you. Brethren, kwamba wewe unataki, u, u, unatakikana kupitia kwako, familia yenu, uko wa baba yako, uko wa mama yako. Wale watu unaitanisho na wao, upate kukomboa maisha yao. Lakini unakata. Unasema sasa mimi, nitaweza kweli. Baba yangu wali kwa waganga, kafanya nini na watu yetu walikufa wengi. Can I make it? You know, those are some of the questions some of the Christian believers ask. Swali unasikia Gideon. Alikuwa na, anauliza, lakini unaposoma mandiko, unaona Gideon yali ufanya mambo makubwa sana, itelivan. Watu wa uko wao. Baada ya mungu tu kumupeira iyo grace and melted favor, the enabling power. Hili yaweza kufaulu. And that's how sometimes Christians fail. God has entrusted you. He has seen that you are the person to bring good news in your family, in, in your country, in your village, in your church. Kuna kanisa, watu wameanzisha kanisa, wengine wakansa kanisa katika njia ya biashara. Lakini hapo katika hiyo biashara andani, mungu wakaangalia ndugu, wakaangalia dada na wakamuita. Haka muambia nataka uangalie kanisa hili unaro shiriki. Ndiyo kuna wachungaji, kuna wainjiristi, kuna watu wengine. Wametoka katika roho. Wameingia katika muiri. And that's why Paul was talking to the Galatians. Nani alia waroga nyinyi? Muliansa na roho, munamalisa na muiri. Kuna watu, wa mungu wa bae mungu waliwaita. Wakaanza na roho, wamemalisia muiri. Some of them have lost the focus of preaching the, gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Wameingia katika biashara sasa. How many people do we have? Watu wangapi tuko nae? Waumini? Bakata wengine wanambia watu, lete mapeisi ni putukari kreti. 
pesa zako ndio tujue fungu hilo natakana kutoa just teach fundisha watu jinsi ya kutoa fungu fungu inamsaidia nini anatakikana eh, 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 afanye aje katika kuelewa fungu ni nini lakini sasa makanisa mengine wanaambia watu toa photocopy ya pesa ripu yako lete hapa ikae kwa records zetu ndio tujue vile unatoa matoleo sasa Mungu atusaidie So if God speaks to you brethren that is something in your church which is not right there is something in your village which is not right there is something in your country which is not right and God wants to use you for the purpose of bringing restoration bringing mambo ya revival katika inji yenu mahali huko kwa sababu na watu wanani atazama na wanafuatilia kutoka inji za ngambo where you are brethren if god has spoken to you hapana uliza maswali kama vile Musa aliuliza ama haya maswali sasa uh, Gideon anauliza just accept so that the grace that will be upon you itakuwa more itakuwa nyingi kwa sababu gani already you don't question god you know when you question god ila grace inakuwa juu yako inakuwa kidogo kwa sababu umeuliza maswali mengi ukifuata hapo katika huyo ndugu tumemalizia hapo Musa mnaona hata maandiko unaposoma ufuatilie historia ya Musa hakuingia kanani kwa sababu alifika hata asida ikawa ni nyingi ilikuwa nyingi paka hata kapasua amri kumi za Mungu alimpea because of asira lakini yale alifanya yote it is because of the grace of God and that's why ameandikwa katika maandiko na tunamsoma na tunamjua vile alifanya the same to Gideon it was not so much good but God decided to use him sikia anauliza Mungu swali it is mimi i am the I am the smallest member of the smallest family in our tribe. Sasa Mungu wa yeye anamuona anatosha. But sasa yeye anaanza kusema mimi ndio mdogo na natoka katika ukoo mdogo. Why? Kwa nini? And that's why we are talking about the grace. Imagine if the, it was not the grace hata huyo Gideon atunge muzikisa, yani atunge muzikia, hata angeandiko But because of the grace of God ameandikwa sasa tunasoma kuhusu yeye because he got and met the favor yeye mwenyewe hata alijua hatoshi ndiye hata akasema mimi natoka katika ukoo e mdogo na mimi mwenyewe ndiye mdogo so i cannot do but because of the enabling power of God because of the unmerited favor aliweza kufanya what he did but despite his fear and inability with god's grace that is the neighboring power gideon saved israel and he did what just a small band of men it was grace that made the difference so brethren hata kama alifanya what hata kama alikataa hata kama alifanya nini because of the grace of god gideon did what he did so brethren neema ya wana ikishuka kwako utafanya maajabu Kidio ni did a lot imagine hata amejikana yeye mwenyewe anaona atoshi but because god had seen something in him aliajiria neema juu yake na akaweza kukomboa israeli na akafanya mambo mengi soma mpendo wa katika hiyo uh, andiko mahali nimeweza kukueleza that is in the book of uh, judges chapter number 6 and verse number 1 to 26 you will see the greater things and achievement of Gideon not because yet the power not because yet the position not because he was a giant or a great man but because of the grace of God yeye mwenyewe hata ali admit hangeweza but God gave him the the grace the same to Moses ambaye tumesoma yeye mwenyewe aliona hawezi hata akasema they cannot believe me but because of the grace of God he did what he did 
and saved the, the, the people of Israel. Mtu mwingine nataka tuangalie brethren is the grace in the life of the apostle Paul. Uh, pia utasoma katika the book of Acts chapter number 15 and verse number 40. Before Paul and Silas set out on their missionary journey together, the church at Antioch prayed for uh, for them and they commanded them to the grace of the Lord for the work that was ahead of them. Maandiko yanasema kwamba the church of Antioch iweze kuwaombea before waondoke katika missionary uh, duty yao. Uh, in in 2nd Corinthians chapter number 11 verse number 22 to 33 it is under, uh, understandable that he was first commanded to the grace of God. So is it that it to survive the lord is answer to paul conver uh, conversion of wickedness now let, let us read uh, 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 second corinthians uh, chapter number 11 verse number 22 tuone neno la mungu linasema nini ah uh, the book of second corinthians uh, chapter number 11 Uh, and verse number 22 to 23 Neno la Mungu linasema hivi Are they Hebrews so I am Are they Israelites so I am Are they the seed of Abraham so I am Are they ministers of Christ I speak as a fool i am more laborers uh, in in laborers more abundant in stripes above miserable in prisons more frequent in deaths oft that is in the book of uh, second corinthians 11:22 to 23 and in the book of second corinthians 12 verse number 9 now inasema hivi and he said unto me My grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in wickedness most gladly therefore will I rather glory uh, glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me kwa hivyo wapendwa hata kama uwezo wako ni mdogo hata kama nguvu zako ni chache hata kama ye wewe katika ukoo wenu ni mdogo hata kama we, like now ukifuata for instance uh, in america ukicharibu kuangalia like obama obama is a, 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 is a black american and he, he, he draw some uh, roots from uh, kenya and, and and we get the history of america tunaona kwamba America hawakuwa napendelea sana kupeana uongozi kwa to the black Americans. But tunaona neema ya Mungu ilishuka kwa Obama and they did what they did and they became a president. We have also seen even members of parliament. Kuna yule ndugu mliona kutoka I think some parts ya Meru. Alikuwa na kampeni na baisikeli akatembea watu wakubwa wakatembea wakatembea na machopa wakatembea na nini pati hiyo kijana ali neema ya Mungu ilishuka kwake na Mungu akaona ndiye anatosha na alipata tumeona hata governors mtu una from nowhere tu na Mungu anamsaidia what do i want to say Nataka kusema kwamba Mungu akikumulika tu amemulika taa yake kwako tu hata saa hii usiku mahali popote huko Mungu akikumulika tu na muna hii na akuzungumzie na wewe usikie sauti ni ya Mungu hata usitake ku akisema amuka na uanze kutembea amuka 
Usiase kusema sasa mimi sasa nitafanya nini? No no. When God says yes, the grace in anaajiria na yama mara moja. Akisema ndiye anaajiria. Hata usiulize utapata pesa wapi? Hata usiulize nitasungumza na mna gani kama vile Musa alikuwa anasema it is not eloquent. Usiulize eti eti uko wetu, eti ni mdogo. Hapana. <coughs> Akisema ndio we amuka. Now, people, watu Mungu anawazungumzia hata wakiwa katika ndoto. Mungu anawazungumzia katika maono. Na mtu anaraalia maono. Hata mwingine anaambiwa you are going to die kwa ndoto. Anaonyeshwa kabisa the devil is about to kill you. Ah, alafu na amuka unasema, "Ai, nimeota ndoto mbaya." Ah, kumbe nilikuwa nimelala. Unawacha. Au usiki. Lakini masaa singine, kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu tena unakuja unalala siku ingine. and God also reveals to a dream. Ile ndoto kabisa ile ile uliota tu inakuja mara ya pili. Maana the grace of God imekuwa sufficient. Mungu anataka tu kukuonyesha the devil is on your neck. Bado unashtuka tena unasema ah, hii ndoto imenirudia mara ya pili. Ah. Kwa kumbe nilikuwa nimelala. Brethren, we need to be awake. We need to understand that the devil is roaming. Anatembea ako kila wakati. But we kwa sababu ya neema tunaendelea kuishi. Some of, of, of our brethren Mungu anataka kuwainua tu Satan level level kubwa katika maisha yako. Lakini ile neema ambayo imeshuka badala you tap it. Mungu anakuzungumzia ondoka. Imagine sasa vile Mungu alikuwa anazungumzia Abraham toka hapa. Enda. Anamwambia usiende na mtu wengine. Akaamuka tena akabeba bana na roti. Na yeye bado Mungu anaona pana mpango wangu bado ndiye atakasababisha. Wafanyikazi ya Lot na ya Abraham wakakosana. Ndiyo tena mawazo yakamujia Abraham akamwambia badala tukosana na wewe ni mtoto wa dada yangu na natoka uko moja basi kama wewe utachagua kwenda pande hii mimi nitaenda pande nyingine. Immediately they departed. Then God akamtokea tena na akamwambia sasa angalia. So sometimes brethren Mungu anazungumzia anaajiria neema kwetu lakini hata hiyo neema bado tunakataa. Bado tun 